I'm Shredmaster Scott, and this video is a sweet picking masterclass. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about sweet picking using the cage system, which of course is the best system on earth. So the cage system gets its name from the five open position chords that we all know and love. For instance, you've got the C chord, which is based on this open position C. And then you've got the A chord, which is based off this. Open A, and then it's G, and then uh, E, and D. So that's what caged, you know, that's the acronym. That's what uh, all the letters stand for. And when you take those open position chords out of the first position here, then they become these cage system sweeps. Uh, for instance, like if you take the C chord, just to visualize it here, if you take the C chord, right? And if you finger it a little bit differently and then move it, that's the way you sweep. So that's really a C chord, but you're playing it with all the notes fretted, you know, up the neck a little bit. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna give you an example for each of the uh, cage system forms. We'll start with the C form. And uh, let's see. So that's the C form, and it's on a G, G note here. So we'll use that as our lick, kind of a, a fancy G Lydian lick. So I'll have the tabs for all of these examples that I play down in the description below. I might throw them up on the screen too, all the tabs uh, in this video for free. Yeah, we love free stuff, Shred. All right, so... That's the shape. And see the right hand here, the picking hand. So all downstrokes ascending the arpeggio. Don't lift the pick like this, just let them fall from string to string, let the pick fall from string to string, with a, a bit of a downward angle on the pick so it kind of slices through, no resistance. And then on the top, I'm using hammer-ons and pull-offs. Right, and then coming back, you got upstrokes. All right, so that is the first shape, the C form. Moving on, we've got the A form next, and I'm also going to do a, a G major chord here. And if you think about it, you can you can see that visualization. It's a bar chord shape. You know, again, the A is based on this A chord, and then you start moving that, and it becomes this. And we're playing it up on the tenth fret here. So, um, this one, the articulation, down pick on the A string, and then you hammer on to the 14th fret, and then down strokes on D, G, and B, 12th fret. Get up to the uh, 10th fret on the high E string, and then the 15th fret, and that's legato again. Down pick on the uh, 10th fret high E, and then legato the rest of the way. And then up strokes. And there you have it, bam. Okay, you with me so far? This is a lot of information. Next, we've got uh, the G form, which comes from the G chord in open position here. That's the way, by the way, to get the G spot, right? The key to a woman's heart, play G form arpeggios. All right, so we've got, um, We'll do a Lydian lick here, another Lydian lick. Kind of a cool sound there. And starting on the 10th fret of the low E string here, and we're using the G form. So this is one that's rarely used, and if you use it, you're extra badass, because no one else is doing it, right? 
same mechanics apply here. Downstrokes. And also muting. I'm using muting technique with my palm here on the bridge to quell some unwanted noise, as well as rolling my fingers. Now you can see with my index here. That also helps uh, stop the ringing. You don't want this, right? You want those notes separated. Which is very tough on that particular one, but combination of right hand muting and then rolling with uh, your fretting hand is gonna accomplish that separation. Okay, next shape, uh, let's see, C-A-G-E form is next, and uh, we'll take a, a D major arpeggio here, let's try that again, alright, so there's the D form, or sorry, no, it's a, it's a D major, but it's the E form, so it comes from that shape right there, and uh, here we've got... Uh, 12th fret of the D string, 11th fret on G, and then two tens on B and high E. We got a repeated note here, so playing that uh, high E string 10th fret twice. And also the, uh, the uh, 12th fret on the uh, D string. This one's great for speed. So again, with the roll, you got that roll on the top two strings. Uh, okay, let's see, what are we up to? We're up to the last one, which is the D form. D form is one of my favorites, and it um, goes like this. So we'll use another D major chord for the D form. Let's see. So that's the D form, D major, and down pick on that 12th fret. And then on the top, I'm using legato. You picked high E string 12th fret, and the rest is legato, hammer-ons and pull-ups. Now this pattern is, uh, I think it's like 11 notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Court repeats, yeah. So yeah, just feel that beat. Uh, that's where the beat falls on that 12th fret of the high E string. Okay, so there you have it. Sweet Picking Masterclass. We talked about some of the mechanics of how to execute the sweeps with your right and left hand using muting technique to make the notes come out clear. Uh, what else did we talk about? Uh, of course, the cage system, which is what like the Berklee College of Music uses. and it's, it's like a fancy sort of jazz thing, but it's a great system, honestly. I don't use it for scales, but for arpeggios, it's the shit. So try that out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let me know who your favorite sweet picker is too. And as I said before, if you want the tabs for all these examples, just hit the link in the description below and bam, shred till you're dead.